All right, y'all. Donald James, Third Coast Cowboy here. I wanted to show you guys how I made this little custom seat right here out of PVC. Uh, not a big deal, but this is the wife's kayak. Wanted to get it up a little bit off the uh, bottom so she can sit a lot higher. It's a real good stable kayak. It's a vibe. Uh, it's about 31 inches wide. So concept, get it up high enough that it's stable. Be able to slide her tackle box in there. This is all one inch PVC you made it out of. So I started with this height right here. Uh, what I wanted that to be. And I said, okay, six and a half inches, that's a pretty good height for the front. So I needed to figure out the drop here, because this kayak you know, slopes back like most do, so you're having a nice contour for your rear end. So I just took this and went across, picked a level spot. This is my level, the bubble's level right there. You put the tape measure on it. Okay, I did a horrible job of explaining this, but what I did was I took the level to figure out the height difference between where the seat was going to insert into the scupper holes and the front where it was resting and decided how much fall I wanted. And then I did the math and just cut the back legs so I get the appropriate fall that I wanted. I think I ended up with about three quarters of an inch and that was comfortable. So I made the square up front. Had the three-way tee, got these at Lowe's, real nice for these corners. And when I figured out the depth, that three-quarter inch difference between these two, well, I came down here to my scupper hole. The one inch fits in there real nice. This is just a one inch slip-slip coupler. I mean, when I say slip-slip, that means you the uh, PVC slides into either end of this coupler. And uh, figured out how deep I wanted to go into the scupper holes so that the C wouldn't move, and then how deep the PVC would come into the coupler, and that's when I made my cuts. That's how that sat. So you do the own math. It's real simple on yours. You can cut it a few times if you need to. So coming over here, I just made this big square on the top part. These one inch T's going straight down into those couplers coming around the corner with one inch 90s and then here's the back section two one inch slip tees slip 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 meaning you can put slide your PVC into all three sides there's no screwing and then I figured out this height by taking her seat and I looked at the back of the seat took a reasonable measurement, I figured if it went up to about right here, that would probably be pretty good. And I had her sit in the seat, and it showed basically where her back would be on the seat, the, the pressure point that she needed the most support. So that's how I figured out this height. And at this point, what I did was I put the kayak on the ground. I put her seat, just rested it on here, just like this. and I had her sit on it. When she sat on it, my focus was right back here. I wanted to know how far to, this needed to be leaning backwards or forward so that she sat in here comfortably in this little chair design. And uh, we pushed it back and forth. I hadn't glued it yet. Don't glue it yet. You can actually hit it and move it. And when we had a comfortable position, I took my marker and I marked it. You can see the lines. I marked it here, 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 and I did all of that and how far it's going to go in so that I could take it apart and glue it back together and just uh, match up my lines. So that's what I did and that's how we've come up with this frame right here. Now the next piece was to put a piece of wood right there. This is the piece of wood I ended up with. The way I ended up with this was I traced the bottom of the seat. So if the bottom of the seat was sitting on a piece of wood like that, I just took the pin, went around it like that, and then I cut it out with a jigsaw. Now this seat actually holds on with, let's see if I can find them. These are one inch 
uh, electrical conduit clamps. Get them at Lowe's and they go right around that one inch PVC and these screws right here screw right, uh, screw right in there and hold them into place and hold them on the, the seat and those are stainless steel screws. So when I have this thing in here now the reason it's a part is because the wife wants to paint the wood and she wants to paint the PVC and make it a pretty color. So I've taken it apart for that. But at this point, with this bolted to this seat right here, I just do what I usually do with the seat. And I lock it into place, just like you normally would, on your snap rings, front and back, and it stays perfectly in place. And it's working absolutely great for her. She loves it. You can see how high she is up, and that's it. It was that simple. You can cut PVC with these devices right here. You can get these at Harbor Freight. Don't cost very much. You can get them at Lowe's, whatever. You can use a hacksaw, cut it. Doesn't take much. You can even use a piece of nylon. If I had a piece of nylon thread right now, or nylon string, I'd show you how you can use a piece of nylon string to cut PVC. Um, and that's it. A little glue and a little primer to put it all together, pop it into place, and you're ready to go. All right, if you've never used glue and primer on PVC before, here's the basics. The primer itself softens the PVC. It kind of acts as a weld. When you put them together and they dry, they, get, uh, they don't come apart. The glue itself acts more of a acts as more of a lubricant to get those two pieces of PVC together, and then it fills up any pin size holes. The uh, trick is to put that primer on the inside of the T, and then the outside of the piece of PVC going in. Put a little bit of the glue on the uh, either one inside the T or on the outside. Then press the two pieces together and give them a quarter turn as you're putting them together. Kind of screws them in, and that weld. Get that quarter turn helps keep things from leaking on the, you know, the, the water front, but we just need it to hold real good for the seat. And then you check inside, make sure you've pushed it all the way in. And there's a little notch inside that, a little groove inside that T that'll let you know you, you've done it right. And that's how it goes. Wife decided she didn't want to get real fancy on the color. She wanted to go ahead and keep it the black, which I thought was a great idea. Really makes the, the vibe. Sea Ghost with its smoke camo uh, look great. And if you got any questions on this, you know, hit me up in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. The seat works great. Hey y'all, I'm Donald James, the Third Coast Cowboy. Thanks for watching Third Coast Cowboy TV. You can find me at thirdcoastcowboy.com. I got my music there and merchandise and links to the Third Coast Cowboy TV. Appreciate y'all. Hope this video helps and share your ideas with me. I'm always watching YouTube to see what everybody else is doing. Take care. Yeah, baby.